All right, today we're talking about why the Walker is the best lawnmower on the market. It's made right here in the United States by the Walker family. They engineer, fabricate, assemble, build most of the parts for this machine right in Fort Collins, Colorado. It is privately owned. They do not, they're not sponsored by a big corporation. Uh, first off, let's look at the deck. The deck is interchangeable. I don't know if any other mower manufacturer does anything like this, but remove this mower deck. Release a few things like this. Pull it off like so. Now, on this particular model, the model T25i, which is the most common model that we sell, uh, this is the one that you'll see in the back of most of your, young, your professional yard care guys' trucks. Um, you're able to go from 42 to 52 inches on deck size. Um, let's come on. All right, now you've seen how you take the deck off. It installs reverse the procedure to install. Uh, let's go and look at the deck, some of the features of the deck. Full floating. Floats here, floats here. You've got this big spring right here taking the majority of the weight off of the deck. So, this 250 pound deck, I can lift it just easy as can be. That also takes a bunch of the weight off the front tires so you're not pressing on the ground so hard. And that's also what gives it that easy flotation. Something fairly unique to the Walker. Not many other manufacturers do anything like this. Is the ability to lift this deck up. Once you're underneath this deck, you've got full access to everything. You can spray that out, keep it clean. Um, you can get right to the blades and sharpen them. These blades are sheer bolt protected. So you hit something, you hit a curb or a big rock, instead of tearing anything up, just breaks these shear bolts, lets that blade freewheel. All right, a few more features. Uh, solid, solid rubber tires. Another thing you're gonna notice as we go over this mower is grease cirques. Everything that moves gets a grease cirque on this mower. There's no just bushings or anything like that that wear, just wear out. Blades, as they pass, they overlap, it's a timed blade, so it'll never hit, but they overlap. That way you don't have a stripe down the middle. Another thing I'll talk about all the way is the flow of the air. This one here is a standard rotation deck. They also make a reverse rotation deck. You'll see this pushes air this way into there. This one pushes air this way into there. These blades, they do need to go in the right direction if you reinstall the blades. Gauge wheels on the back, that's an anti-scalp wheel also, but it also helps it roll when it's off the machine. All right, the tractor itself. This operates different than any other mower on the market. On your normal, just zero turn mower, you're gonna hop on it, start it. You're gonna push two hands to go forward like that to turn. This mower is different. Doing that right there is doing nothing. This here is your forward engagement. It's almost like a cruise control. You push this forward and the, the mower just goes forward. To turn, it's one-handed operation. It's as simple as that. Engine throttle or speed adjustment here. Uh, it's, it's got some gauges. It's got a volt gauge, an idiot light for cylinder head temperature, oil pressure, and just a service engine soon light. It does have an hour meter. They factory install headlight switches, but you, the headlights are aftermarket. Parking brake. And this is your blade engage. Everything you need is right here, right here at your fingertips. This mower has the comfort seat on it. There's two other seats. There's the standard seat and also a, an air ride style seat that's adjustable. All right, this is your air, air intake. It's got a fan in there, stops sticks and things like that from getting in. Um, somewhat forces air into the engine, a few things like that. Come on around. This is your hopper. Now, as the machine is running, this right here is where the grass blows in. That turns side to side, filling this hopper full comes out with quite a lot of pressure, so it packs the grass in very well. This right here 
the sensor it feels when the grass is full. So as it fills up to that, it'll come down, it'll hit that, it'll beep at you letting you know that it is full of grass. Here's an example of how that hopper works. Uh, you hear that beep in the background? That's telling you that there, it's on, but there's no oil pressure. So that's your oil pressure beeper. Now that's also the sound you'll hear when it's full of grass. All right, so you're full of grass. This is how you go about dumping it. You lift this tailgate, come over to this handle. You lift this up, simple as that. There's also kits you can install that'll automatically dump this. There's even a power lift kit that lifts that hopper off, pushes it back and dumps it into the back of the truck or whatever you're dumping it into. So you're gonna lift that up. The new ones have this latch here. Slightly older ones will have a little, little pin right here on the side that you lift up. All right, I mentioned airflow when we lifted up the deck and I mentioned the pressure coming out there. So this is the direction that the grass comes up. On your normal mid-mount mower, you're gonna have a big tube that runs out the side of it, comes up, and dumps into a bag. Usually all that powers that grass is just the force of the blades pushing air up through there. This machine, the blades actually create the same amount of force as that one. They blow it out that opening in the deck. They come into this tube right here. They hit this blower, which speeds up the grass that much more. Blows it out this chute right here. All right, this is 25 horsepower fuel injected engine in this particular mower. You can get this mower from 23 to 31 horsepower in gas. You can also get the D model that's 21 horsepower. They feature a five gallon fuel tank. Over 20 grease zerks on this mower. You got grease zerks here, back in here. There's grease zerks back down here underneath it. Like I say, most of the moving parts on this mower get a grease zerk. Nothing is disposable. There are no throwaway parts on this mower. All right. The balance of this mower is one of the more important things of it. Um, a lot of your mid-mount mowers, a lot of your mowers, you're noticing that you're spinning your tires as you turn, you're leaving scuffs in the grass. So that deck's fairly heavy, that spring's taking the weight off of it. The engine's pretty heavy, but you put those together, that puts most of the weight right down here on the tire. Plus you, the heaviest thing on the mower, sitting on the seat. All right, this and quite a few other things are the reason this is the best mower on the market. Uh, there are some competitors out there that make a mower that looks similar to this. I challenge you to demo their mower and demo our mower and see what the difference is. Uh, one of our nearest competitors has hoses instead of direct drive hydros. That gives a, a numb feeling to the steering. None of them will allow you to change the decks out like this. Um, there's just there's just endless numbers of things to make this better than the competitors. Uh, Walker is very good about letting you demo their products. If you're at all interested, please give me a call and I will get one of these mowers out on your grass this year. As always, please like and subscribe us. Hi Cash, hi Reagan. Thank you for watching.